here we are, good morning. Um, yesterday I went out and done a little bit of uh, casting around with this. A little piece of equipment there. Um, found out one or two things about it. It's going to do what I want to do. Now, it might not do what you want it to do. I found it will give me a signal at, what was it, about 10 wraps or 40 yards. You know, most of my fishing, personally, is no more than 40, 50 yards. Um, another reason for having this little equipment, I want to know the depth of the lake um, and any underlying features, as in depressions in the lake bed. Now, the um, app that you get with this, called Fish Helper, which is on iOS, as you'll see in the film, it's on iOS and Android. Um, on the demo mode, it will show you weed. Obviously, it's more, that demo was sea fishing because the depth was like 88 foot. And you'll see that when if, if whenever you purchase it. Um, and for the, sort of like part of the experiment yesterday, you see it actually did detect weed. Well, I took it through lily pads, as you see, you might see, didn't detect it, which is a bit of a shame. So, I want to find, what I got it for is depth of lake, undulations, as in anything, depressions in the lake, especially for winter fishing, because that's where the fish will hold up around, where it's a little bit deeper, so there might be a little bit of extra warmth, certain parts of the winter. Um, I want to know, personally, the depth the fish are swimming at, so... If I'm zig fishing, early spring, um, through the winter time as well, instead of me popping out a mark of float, finding the depth, um, smashing the water up, scaring the fish off, at least with this pumping on the top, quick winding, ah, right, the fish seem to be holding at around about, say, six foot deep in a 13 foot water. That's what I set my zigs at. So one at five and a half, one at six, one at six and a half. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me so that's the reason I particularly got this it's not a, uh, a deeper pro it is what it says just a sensor you know it locates the bottom it tells you the depth of the bottom it tells you where the what the level of fish are at so you can fish at that level um, it does tell you the temperature of the water which is quite good but the problem is in sort of like the imperial it does for Fahrenheit so you've got to convert it um, when you're in the foot mode, if you go in the meter mode, as in how many meters or whatever, then it does um, give it you two in centigrade. You can swap between the two, so you can do a cast, get the depth, do a cast, get the temperature. You know, you'll get the same readings of where the fish are and what the depth is. Let's just change the uh, icons on the screen to let you know as the, what the temperature is like in centigrade. Um, I was only out there for about half an hour, if that, actually on the bank. Um, I went, as you'll see in the film, I went to like a, a quiet part of the complex where there weren't going to be many anglers or any at all, so I could actually have a free room of casting about. I know a lot of you might be haters of these pieces of equipment and technology. Trust me, you know, I've been around fishing for many, many, many years, and anything that aids you to catch fish is a bonus. Um, you know, the introduction of bait boats many years ago, people, sw and they still do. Oh, that's not fishing. Well, yes, it is. You know, some people need that piece of a technology to help them fish, i.e. disabled people, people who can't cast, might have bad back, bad shoulders or permanent injuries. It aids their fishing. It helps them fish. And for able-bodied people to take this on board, it's fine, you know. There's no discrimination, you know. Why should the able-bodied not be able to use these pieces of equipment? And the same goes with these. You know, people say, that's cheating. No, it's not. You're improving your fishing. You're improving what you can learn and you're improving on most, most probably what you can catch. So every advance on technology, if you hear voices behind me outside, that's Bob the Bailiff. <laughs> oh, or Womble, as some people want to call him. Um, it aids your fishing. You know, if it improves your... It, it, let's say this. Say you're a guy who hasn't got a bait boat and hasn't got one of these and you're going out with someone who has got a bait boat or got one of these, okay? And they find the depth the fish are at and what the bottom's like and where they're going to be fishing with the aid of two chucks. And they start catching and you're sitting 10 metres up the bank with them, so to speak, you know, fishing in the same vicinity and your mates with them. 
and you're not catching anything. Is that Warcraft? No. That's blanking. This is just a weapon, like a, a bullet in your armory, I should say. It's a bullet in your armory to improve your fishing. So don't knock it. And for the price these are on Wish, it's worth the investment. After, you might not like it when you get it, and you might not want to use it anymore. But if you want to spend £200 on a Pro, or the Deeper Pro, or the Deeper Click, or whatever they want to call it now, it's fine. Go ahead and do it. Your bank balance can do it. This one was 40 quid with postage, off wish. Took 10 days to get to the address I had to send to. Picked it up. And I was like a little kid with a, you know, yay! I was waiting, waiting, waiting for this. And it's actually helped in three parts of my fishing. Depth of lake. F finding the fish. Excuse me. And the undulations on the bottom. And that's what I've done. So... The video will come along in a minute, and uh, or in a second or two, and uh, you'll see how I got on with it. But as far as I'm concerned, it's it's something that you could use in your fishing. Take it easy.